In this video, we're going to break down the best possible blitz defense you could put on the field to win you more games. Now, the current defensive meta or blitz meta is predicated out of the formation $3-2, and it is undoubtedly the best formation in the game with nearly every competitive Madden player running it in the $1 million Madden Bowl. However, everybody who plays and runs Dollar knows it has glaring weaknesses that make it pretty easy to beat. So in this video, I will show you the defense that every pro Madden player is using to remedy the weaknesses of Dollar and make it 10 times better. And remember to subscribe for the best Madden tips from an actual active competitor. Let's first show you exactly what Dollar's weaknesses are, just so you can really see why we're running this superior blitz defense instead. As you know, the most common way to run Dollar is using the A-gap blitz out of plays like FS zone blitz and cover two press. Now, yes, if you're playing an inexperienced opponent, these are great options since the left linebacker will come in through the left A-gap by only pinching your defensive line. The problem, however, is that this blitz gets easily blocked by simply double teaming the defensive tackle. On top of that, it's terrible run D as your opponent can easily run to the outside for huge gains. The other general problem with running dollar 3-2 is that the safeties are so far back, so it's easy to throw seam streaks for big gains. So let me introduce you to something called heavy box dollar which is by far the new best defense in Madden 24, with even pro players like Henry and Dez now running it. Now to run this defense, you barely need to make any adjustments. So even if you're a beginner player or a seasoned competitor, this will be the best defense for you. So let me break it down step by step. Now this defense can be run in any playbook with the dollar three two formation what you will see on screen, all of those playbooks. The most important thing is setting your coaching adjustments correctly. So I'm gonna break that down quickly. We're gonna press the right stick down, access our coaching adjustments. We're gonna make sure that our auto flip defensive play call is set to off. Auto alignment is set to base. Our curl flats are set to five and our flats are set to 20. Those are the only adjustments you should have to make to your coaching adjustments. The other thing is you must set your audibles correctly because this defense is so remarkably simple that 90% of the time you won't have to make a single adjustment besides an audible. So our audibles for this, once you press the left trigger in the formation menu is you switch the first one to DB fire. You switch the third one to FS zone blitz, which is way down there in the audible section. And then you switch the last one to cover for drop. And those are your audibles. And every time you come out, and run this heavy box dollar, what you wanna do is you wanna come out in the play double safety go. And now what that double safety go does is as you can see, it brings the safeties down into the box. Now this is amazing for run defense. This is fantastic for guarding the seams. And this is great for blitzing. And that's part of the reason that this formation or this style of running dollar is by far the best. To run this defense, we're gonna be utilizing audibles. We're never gonna run double safety go on its own. We're gonna audible to one of the four plays that we discussed earlier. DB fire two, spinner, FS zone blitz, or cover four drop contain. The first thing that I'm gonna break down is FS zone blitz because it's by far the best play in this formation. But you definitely need to know the other ones to beat good opponents. So all I'm gonna do is audible to FS zone blitz by pressing square and then L1. So on Xbox, I believe that is X and then LB. So once you call that, or once you do this, it switches to FS zone blitz. Now you cannot press and you cannot pinch your defensive line in any of these defenses, or what you will see will happen is that your safeties will drop back, right? Which completely defeats the purpose of the defense. And it does the same thing when you pinch your defensive line in most of these plays. So you absolutely need to just call the play as it is and do not press your defense and do not pinch your defensive line. Now, the only adjustment I like to make in FS zone blitz is to simply press triangle or Y on Xbox and up on the right stick to switch our seam flats to curl flats 
which will play at the five yard depth and do a great job at guarding any flat routes or zigs or wheels on their respective side of the field. The reason this is so good, however, is because it's much more consistent than the A-gap blitz. We are sending one more person, but if they five out, you can guarantee that the safety or the linebacker on the left side of the field are gonna come in clean. Like right there, the safety will come in clean almost every single time. And the way that most people block the A-gap, as I broke down earlier, is by double teaming the defensive tackle. And if they decide to do that, there's a higher chance that we actually get two people in. So in this case, we almost, we get three people in at the quarterback. So it's very, very difficult for them to block this blitz. The other reason this is so effective is that if they decide to run something like this, like a simple flood concept to the right, which is an extremely common way that people are playing offense right now, the cover three defense that this FS zone blitz is basing out of does a fantastic job. The flat will be covered by this five yard curl flat and the corner will be covered by the outside third, right? So as you can see, when I call this play, sitting here, the blitz will come in and the outside third or our user can cover that corner out. What really makes it so great is that it's remarkably difficult for them to throw a seam streak and run the ball, which is something people love doing against Dollar. So for example, if I were to run FS zone blitz, leave it completely stock pretty much, and if they tried to throw a seam streak, so let's say they tried to throw it to R1 right in the, the middle of the field, this inside third does a fantastic job at guarding the seam. So let me show you exactly what I mean. As you can see, the inside third is sitting right on top of the streak and it'll intercept it the majority of the time, regardless of if they have any abilities. The other reason heavy box dollar is such an effective defense is because it's amazing run defense as well. So if I were to run HB base to the left and then audible to FS zone blitz coming on the left side of the field, remember it can only be run to the left, the blitz doesn't work from the right. What you will see is that oftentimes the linebacker or the defensive end or the safety will shoot that in the backfield. The other thing that is fantastic is that you might say it'll only stop it to the left because that that's where the blitzes are. However, you can actually run it to the right and still see a similar result. As you can see, the linebacker will come through and shoot the run in the backfield almost every single time. Now, if you're looking to take this defense to a pro level overnight, you should definitely check out my heavy box dollar defensive game plan on victoryformation.gg. It's jam packed with bunch defense, trips defense, tight defense, run defense, and the most advanced ways to run it to instantly win you more games. We also have my entire Steelers offense and over 50 game-changing tips in the laboratory. Just two of these tips in the lab showcase the fastest cover 3-1 play touchdown and the easiest way to beat man coverage in Madden 24. Unlock everything for only $9.95 and take an additional 15% off with code SWOLO. Now, this defense is not just a singular great blitz, it's not just amazing Rundy, but it's also top of the line coverage defense, and there are two more fantastic blitz variations. Let's start with the next blitz variation that will make it near impossible for your opponent to block this defense. To run this version, you once again come out in double safety go, and then audible to our first audible DB fire. Now this will give you amazing edge pressure. The only adjustment I like to make in this defense is shading down by pressing triangle or Y on Xbox and down on the right stick. Now what this does is it makes the vert hook on the right side of the field play super well in this area, which is great for guarding running back in routes, tight end wheel routes. It's a fantastic zone and it doesn't affect the two outside zones which are hard flats on screen, but they will play at a 20 yard depth because that's what our coaching adjustments were set to. So as you can see, when they call a play like verticals, right? You'll see that this vert hook will do a great job at defending not only the tight end wheel route, but also the running back in route later in the play. So, but I also mentioned throughout the video that we have to use this linebacker. We don't in this case, because we're sending five people, we can actually use the left guy, but we don't want to give that away to our opponent, so don't move him before the ball is snapped. 
So once the ball is snapped, we're only responsible for the R1 point man. And what you can see is that the vert hook on the right side of the field does a fantastic job at guarding exactly what I say they're great at guarding. Look at this tight end wheel rep. The vert hook sits right beneath it. And if they were to throw it, that'd be an easy pick right to our linebacker. And if they were to throw the running back in route, that would also be an easy interception. So this is fantastic defense for plays like verticals or in general when your opponent is attacking the middle of the field. Not even to mention though, you can see that the blitz is extremely fast. If they send five out, you're expected to get two people in clean at the quarterback. So they're gonna be under a ton of duress to pass the ball quickly. If you go back to some of my previous videos, there's no doubt you'll hear me talk about cover for drop and how and why it's so effective in Madden 24. So let me show you exactly how you can use it with the heavy box dollar defense. To run the cover for drop variation, you once again come out in double safety go and then audible to cover for drop by pressing square or X on Xbox and then right bumper. Then there's two adjustments I like to make on this play. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross our defensive line down by pressing left on the D-pad and down on the right stick. Then what we're going to do is shade our defense underneath, just like we did in cover two by pressing triangle and down on the right stick. Now, since we are shading underneath and these hard flats are at 20 yards, I would recommend though not hundred percent required to put them back in curl flats by pressing triangle, triangle again, or Y, Y, and then clicking on the icon of our slot corner. In this case, we're gonna do the left one, so it's triangle again or Y again, and then put him into a curl flat. Then we're gonna do the same thing for the other slot corner, and we're gonna use her the left side user, right? But we don't want to move him in order to give away that we are in a coverage defense. The reason this is so effective is because, number one, this hook curl will do a fantastic job at guarding the tight end wheel and verticals, and the running back in in verticals and it will also play flats pretty well early in the play now it's a lot like a vert hook because we're shading it down the other reason this is so effective is because we have these quarters that will do a great job at defending seams anything over the middle of the field you'll likely knock it out especially if you have a knockout ability and corner routes right so if they run a flood concept like i showed you before this will do a fantastic job. So it's kind of the best of the both worlds between the DB Fire 2 and the FS Zone Blitz in terms of coverage, right? So if I were to run, if I'll just use my D line to show the user isn't necessarily required, if you are using, I recommend you to use the R1 receiver, the point man on this play. And what you will see is that if I call this, the running back is covered, the tight end wheel is covered, and usually our user would be responsible for the R1 point man receiver on the crossing route. The other play that it's so good against, as I mentioned, is a flood concept. So if I'm just gonna come out, show you how fast you can set this up, as you can see, it's set up that quickly. If they run a flood concept, just like so, let's say to the right side of the field, you will see that everything will be covered extremely well. So when I snap this ball, the tight end flat is covered by the hook curl on the curl flat, the corner route is covered, and even if they have a backside dig, that will be covered by your hook curls or your users. So that's why this is such a fantastic coverage defense because it's the best of both worlds. It defends flood concepts and it defends routes going to the middle of the field when our opponent, instead of flooding the outside of the field, floods the middle of the field. Now I know that some players really like using man coverage. So I have this spinner blitz variation that some pros swear is the best blitz in the game. To run this variation, we once again come out and double safety go and then audible to spinner. Now, most times you're gonna play someone who has three receivers on the right side of the field or three receivers on the left side of the field. It doesn't necessarily matter. I like to run this whenever my opponent is starting to block their running back or they're clearly uncomfortable with the pressure we're sending at them. So we want to mix in a different style of defense. The only adjustment I like to make besides audibling to the play spinner is I like to make sure the tight end is manned up. I'd much rather user a free running running back, let's say on a flat or a wheel, so I would use the running back, as opposed to a tight end on a streak. So I will cross man the tight end. Now it doesn't matter if they're in bunch, or it doesn't matter if they're in tight, 
this will be something you almost always have to do unless they're in a two by two formation where the man coverage will be set for you and you won't have to make this adjustment. But the reason I like this so much is when I'm really sending heat and I know they're blocking their running back maybe on a late down, I like to send this much pressure because I can guarantee even if they block their running back that this blitz will come in and the man coverage will hold up long enough for us to get the blitz in. So if I were to call this play, what you will see is that even when they block their running back, we are able to get pressure and the man coverage will often hold up. So for example, if they're in something like U-Trips, which is this formation, you could see that the pressure hits them before this receiver can even make a real cut, this receiver can make a real cut, and of course, if they aren't a man-beating play, the streak in the flat will be covered. So not only does our opponent have to be mindful of us blitzing, but they also have to be mindful of calling a man-beating play, or they're gonna be completely bagged or take a huge sack. With this defense, you will be well on your way to winning way more Madden games. And if you're looking for some top-notch offenses to pair your defense with, you should definitely check out this video right here.